As you can see, we're on Dr. Mike's channel, and that's for a reason. It'll become apparent right away here. But let's jump into this. I want to. Uh, yeah. Medical sketches are really like medical memes, just reenacted. And guess what? On today's video, I'm going to be reacting to some of the most popular medical sketches on YouTube, excluding SNL, because we've done those already. Link down yeah. below. But first, I have a major announcement for you. I am looking to hire another editor. We want you to join. Okay, so. The team, all the qualifications, and. It my fiance told me about this. Uh, my ears to the ground, and I don't know. Consider this my kind of visual application uh, on what I can do. <laughs> um, yes, I am like kind of new into the editing videos together, and my thumbnails aren't perfect yet, but my content has had a huge step up in this. Uh, 2021, right at the end of 2020 even, but especially in 2021, and uh, yeah, I got things on the way in the mail for more, you know, improvements, uh, like GoPro and stuff like that, and I would love to be an editor here for this guy. And information is listed down below in the description, so if you think you're right... And yes, I, I wanted to give people that I know on YouTube that feel like they could do a good job, a fair chance as well. Hey, for the job, shoot me an email. By the way, if you get this... By the way, I would love, I would love for this. If you guys would like to see me as a professional editor so that I can, you know, improve upon the channel that we have, please slap a like on my video and I will, uh, you know, hopefully he'll see that when I send him my application video. Uh, if you guys do that, I would be so greatly appreciated. Yes, please. Even if you would I say very nicely to him, I suggest from Zero to Hero in his comment section on this video. That would be really cool. I mean, you can just take the opportunity for yourself or we can you know, all kind of try and help each other get it. Be cool. But either way, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to as well. I'll leave the this uh, this video's description. Uh, this video's link in the description, I should say. This video to 100,000 likes. I might make a medical sketch of my own. <laughs> Hello, patients. I'm Dr. Edith Stelberg. Okay, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, so we'll check out the description here. Uh, responsibilities that uh, one to two videos a week including original videos I would like to state to you that I do do more than one to two videos a week and if I was getting paid I would just be doing those two specifically um, I will have watermarks in this and I am sorry about that Mike uh, I just I, you know uh, the economy right now I'm not uh, working my full-time job anymore, uh, you know, all out of my two feet regardless of how this plays out, but this is kind of like my dream, you know, so, that'd be kind of cool. We have a lot of little ones I know, hope. Yeah, there's this Patreon, but I do I want to uh, watch this video a little and I kind of try to commentate with him a little on my own way, you know? He doesn't look unconscious. Actually, I am still kind of conscious. Yeah. I can fix that. There we are. Why is this surgeon doing the anesthesia? There should be an anesthesiologist with a room monitoring the patient. Like a big fuck. Yeah, I wonder how many people would know that. <laughs> like, you know, you know, like, 
<laughs> this is kind of funny to think about it. It's like, yeah, I guess if you're not a doctor, you probably wouldn't think about that. The function of having the anesthesiologist present is the fact that it allows the surgeon to focus on the operation and the anesthesiologist on the sedation of the patient. Yeah, 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 Split, splitting focus, right? You, like, you're each focusing on something so that you don't, like, completely lose everything. Because <laughs> if you gotta have one single person run around like a chicken with its head cut it off when it's life or death, yeah, that could be pretty bad, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah, but that, I bet, I wonder. I feel like most people would bet that. <laughs> Maybe not like nurses or people in the practice, but yeah, I, I wonder if that's a common thing. Can't be the only one either. Can't just be an ish. And, and I, I can't fucking say it right now. Sorry. <laughs> Tongue tie or twisting my words, you know. Uh, anesthesi anesthesiologist. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Is the mask not up? Why is that mm -hmm. happening right now? Oops. Wow. Yeah, that's fair. fair. <laughs> fair. <laughs> what is it even supposed to represent? Like, uh, a s intestine, maybe? Pretty poor. Like, come on. Salamis? Mm-mm-mm. Like for cutting a person in half, kind of so. Oh god, that 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 look deep in my soul. Don't stare into my soul, Mike. Oh shit. Uh oh. First of all, <laughs> no. trust compressions, trust compressions, trust If you're losing him and you do not have a pulse, this person is no longer living and you need to begin CPR. Yeah, it's CPR is like the last last stitch effort for reviving or keep getting someone back to consciousness, right? It's like a fraction. Like you need to be so on it, apparently. Right, if you don't start saying you need CCs of anything, <coughs> start doing chest compressions. Even while chest compressions before drugs. Makes sense, right? You actually need to get their pulse going again before you get drugs in there because the pulse is the blood flowing right and you generally put the drugs the cc of whatever uh into the, the vein right so that all needs to be going before Super silent. You know, for years, I had um, tinglingness in my arms and migraines and shit like that, and tinglingness in my tongue. And was always overstressed from. I started working that when I was like twelve. And like, I don't know, this is, like, I've worked every year since. <laughs> I'm good to be 25, right? Uh, this is, yeah, it's crazy. And like, uh, yeah, I found out, like, this past year that that's from high blood pressure. So, 
Like, it really is a silent killer. It's something that you think, oh, this was probably nothing, and it's like, no, it could be bad. Wreck havoc, wreak havoc on your kidney and your wreck wreak. and your heart, which kidneys are stroke, heart attack, and so many issues. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slaps it. Hey, yo. Seeing a child for the first time is you need to check their developmental milestone. And I remember one of the things I was trained in my med school training was why don't you throw a, a block like on the floor and tell the child to retrieve it and see if they're capable of following the instructions. And I always felt uncomfortable taking that advice. Because I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, with the child? <laughs> Go get it. Hi, I'm Dr. Devin. So it brings in you to that player phrase. Are you embarrassed to see a real doctor? Is that the point though? They don't know what's wrong with them? Right. There you go. How could you possibly Oh, I tell everyone they have cancer. I understand. Tell everyone they have cancer. Why doing this in the middle of the night quickly in the privacy of your home is so appealing. The reality of the fact is it's almost always going to be inaccurate. Look, don't get me wrong, WebMD does a great job at explaining a whole host of range of conditions so that you understand when you do get a diagnosis what you actually have. Or perhaps how to ask better questions of the doctor slash nurse where they would see. A lot of times you do the symptom tracker thing, it just tells you you have cancer. What if I just say my shin hurts? See? Go get cancer. I really don't think I have cancer. Nobody ever thinks they have cancer. <laughs> the symptoms can take many different forms, such as rotting and heavy, runny nose, mild cough, stress. Why was Stoneburn on that list? Why did <laughs> Stoburn? Nice. Nice. Stoburn means cancer. Write you a prescription. Ten tips and I have a healthy summer. And don't forget to bring a beach ball. I, I feel like there are articles like that that keep getting popped up and recommended to you alongside the little pharma ad. Totally, totally, yeah. <laughs> this is quite accurate, this one. I really think that you should use some Xanoplast. You just take a small dab and rub it on your belly. Enough with the Xanoplast. Sorry about that. We don't like sponsors. You know what? <laughs> Go. Oh, what is this? Let's see. You don't have health insurance. I know everyone wants to create an AI platform where you type in some symptoms and it spits out a diagnosis. Medicine is complicated. Medicine is subjective. Symptoms are subjective. Pain levels are subjective. Humans are really diverse, and there's a lot of, like, fluctuation from person to person depending on the ailment, and it won't be identical from, uh, from, you know, person A to person B to person C. They can all have a fluctuation between that, right? The way people understand medical terminology is subjective. So you mm -hmm. just need a human being. I don't see humans ever not taking care of humans, but at the same time, Oh god. Do I want to work for a robot though? Uh, yeah. Speak to your doctor about this. <laughs> you Definitely a robot. And have a good primary care doctor. The Anderson twins have shared a lot for 25 years. Except, for to join twins is the most complicated medical procedure you've ever performed. I've actually heard, I don't know if this is accurate, could be spread from this information. Someone needs to fact check me. Doing a full head transplant could be the hardest operation. See if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, right? From the mouth of a doctor. And it would be, yeah. They think head gets cut off, it's dead. Straight down the middle, that's possible. Maybe what they meant is, you know hardest uh survivable operation that yeah that's what i'm going with <laughs> i do understand the reference yes, that's the drink oh. yes yeah fucking the old uh the old wow fucking legendary fucking oh idiot 
When Leroy led the charge. See, wow, not really for me, but there are, are like some like that, yeah. disorder where you're just kind of down. Maybe the stymias can be nicknamed early onset grumpiness. Just putting it out there. So it's like, it's like the 80s. You're getting an 80s vibe. <laughs> oh, why would you hit the patient's head like that? <laughs> <laughs> just savage. <laughs> Blam! Knock her out on the way there. We're going to have to spend I mean, money I mean, on the anesthesia next month. They are. Why are they not scrubbing? Why are they putting on non-sterile drugs? I have so many questions. I don't know what all this is. This is stuff from the 80s. I wasn't around back then. I was only born pretty much in the last month of the 80s. Can I put the tube in the baby's head? Uh, Only if I can do the video. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Legs off. Uh, come in. Come on, little girl. That's all good. Come on. Come on. We do not do that. I'm the husband. I'm sorry. Only people involved are allowed in here. We do not just invite a peanut gallery to watch the living. Actually, yeah, it's like husband, maybe one of the person. The nurses probably do the best job of this at managing who comes in and out of the room. When I was in medical mm -hmm. school, we actually trained the first injury. Yeah, when we had our first one, uh, the nurses were all over that. The doctor was really great. There was a like a crowd of medical students, but that's kind of different, right? That's uh, for learning purposes. And once the patient was comfortable with us, we then introduced ourselves to the nursing staff. To and they asked if they could be there too, if they could stay or whatever, you know. That was really respectful. They just guide us because they know so much more than we do at that given point. And probably throughout the career. That's the machine that goes bing! You see, that means your baby is still alive! Who is about the side of the Oh, yes, there's a head. We have four centimeters, five, six centimeters. Nice! You can't judge the cervical dilation visually. You need to be hands-on with this exam mm -hmm. and actually do a digital exam. From there, you can get an estimate of what exactly the dilation is. If the baby's head is already visible, you're fully dilated. You don't need four centimeters of measurement. So it doesn't make sense. And oh, my God. No, guys. Come on. We do not have butcher knots. There's so much wrong with this. That's enough. Sedate him. Hi, I'm here. Sedate him. It's a baby. For my annual physical, I haven't been in years because I didn't have health insurance. I think that only happens maybe on the rarest of occasions. <laughs> if it does, I wouldn't know, but. Yeah, it's also how a patient reacts to the medicine. The patient's unpredictable, uh, and the medicine is unpredictable how they react to each other, right? There's no guarantees. Oh, shit. That paper is the thing of my existence. Not only is it incredibly amazing, anytime you do any kind of exam, it's like, wow, 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 wow. 
it's everywhere. But then mm-hmm. also, like, as a patient, like, rotates and flips, and when I'm doing leg exam or back exam, do some kind of on team, it wraps around the patient and ends up, like, trapping them and ripping. Someone needs mm-hmm. Elon Musk. We need you. Solve the paper. <laughs> oh, get I here for my most favorite medical meme review ever. Like, I really like this one. I think you're going to love it, too. So click for that bad boy. And Alright, well anyway, yeah, that was a good video, guys. Uh, so, if you want to see me become his editor, give a like on the video, and hope and leave a comment on his video right here. Uh, just, you know. Shit, I guess I should space shit out. Something like that. Fairly simple. That would be fantastic. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, but I'll have a link to here if you do feel like doing that. Yeah. Um, if you want to put your name in, you know, uh, props to you if you get it. Uh, but yeah, please, please like my video and leave a comment here saying from zero to hero would be good thanks guys peace have a good one this would be so huge for our channel it really would and dr mike it, like if it falls in your co- your court uh i've i've been improving a lot man and if you give me the shot you won't regret it <laughs>